Hey guys, it's the Crafty Missy here. Today I have a flu and I'm at home and I'm kind of bored. So I thought that I would do finally my little tour of my new sewing machine, which is the Pfaff Ambition 1.5. I got this some weeks ago and it's been an incredible machine. My old one, it didn't really have any special um, programs or stitches or anything like that so it's been a real step up um, to go to this machine and also the um, the store where I got this from um, they gave me some extra thread and some empty um, empty um, bobbins sorry <laughs> I zoned out a little bit so empty bobbins 10 empty bobbins and then also some needles for my machine so that was really nice those kind of came as extras but this is a quick tour not a very comprehensive one but um let's see what we have here now the machine here as you can see it it's a nice size machine and it has this touch screen Right now, this is the regular thing that you see when you turn this on. It has the first stitch, which is the straight stitch. It has all kinds of fancy looking things in there. Um, this has a very good manual and I've checked what all of these are. I just can't really remember all of it yet. I just know that you can, um, from this little round thing, you can select the stitch width and other things. So anyway, let's open this up at the top. Um, right here at the top, we have this, um, like a little poster with all the stitches that this machine has. And they have been divided into utility, quilt, needle art, satin, decorative, uh, sewing techniques, and characters. So it has these um, characters, these, um, um, letters and they have this like an outline uh, decorative one and then the Greek alphabet you know the Cyrillic alphabet and um, here's how you thread it it's very simple to thread you just put the thread in there goes through that goes through that then comes down here goes up there through this thing comes down again and goes um, behind this thing here and then goes behind this thing here and then it's threaded so it's really simple and up here we also have the bobbin winder you put the thread through this when you're winding your bobbin and this is where you put your bobbin and here is what i love this is an extra cutter for the bobbin so when i take the bobbin off i can just cut the thread here this is a stylus, has its own little place here, and it's just a little plastic stylus, basically, and you use this to select your stitch and use the touch screen. Now, you can also use this touch screen with your fingers, at least my fingers are so big that it's pretty hard to do that. Now, let me show you how, to, how you select your stitches. So, let me see. I hope I can hit the right spot because I can't really see through the camera. There we go. I'm trying to change my stitch. Let's take number, well, it doesn't really matter. One, five, seven, and then from up here, and it's an art stitch, and you can see the stitch right here. And you can change these from here, like you can make it come cl them cl come closer to each other. Okay, this you can't do. Oh, and then you can make it um, like lower. Yeah, okay. So, that's the top. I don't remember what this was when I started, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so you can do all this stuff here with the stylus, and then it just comes out of here. So that's really nice, and I love it that the stylus has its own spot up here. It's really nice. There we go. Let me put this down. So yeah, then we have um, here, we have some buttons. The top one is needle up, needle down. And then these two, oh, I never remember what it was, but I think this one was that you finish the stitch 
that if you have like a decorative stitch it kind of finishes it on the spot or no I'm sorry this one was the one that finishes the stitch on the spot this one was um, I looked it up but I can't re really remember it now I think it was something like you can start your stitch at the beginning again or something like that don't count count me on that but something like that in here we have the speed this is the slow one the mi um, the middle one that I have and then the really fast one we have a manual wheel here but there's actually nothing else in there except uh, in here where you just put it on and off over here we have some more buttons this is the start and stop button so I can use it from this button or then I can use it from the foot pedal and this is reverse so I can um, press this and go reverse and then in here we have the um, we have a needle threader here I haven't used it yet and then um, what else is it oh then there is this technique that is called IDT and this is great for me because um, I want to do quilting and I have some projects to go through this ensures that the fabric um, is fed evenly um, through uh, through through here so it's almost like it's like a walking foot and um, it comes with this so I can use this whenever I need to so it, it's great for quilting because if you don't have that or a walking foot um, then when you try to um, like stitch the layers of the quilt together the bottom one will get all wrinkled and stuff I already had that happen to me once on my old machine so this is really great because that will be great for quilting um, and it has the bobbin here at the bottom I had never had a bobbin design like this before but um, it's great I've tried it now and I really like it that uh, has um, a little ruler in centimeters and inches here at the top. There's also something in here. I haven't looked what these are. I have a regular foot in there right now. And it also comes with a couple of like... Let me try to do that with the other hand. Here we go. There's this like storage unit. And I wondered for a long time what this gray thing here was. Let me try to pull it. You can, oops, you can pull this whole thing out and I just didn't get it but then I just happened to put my um, bobbins in there and I thought wow they fit in there perfectly so yeah so I thought that that would probably be meant for bobbins so you can put lots of bobbins in there there's still some space in there or maybe even you could put like your thread in here I don't know if it would fit I haven't tried but at least those long um, spools of thread might go there. Now these small things here, I really don't know what they are for. Um, I tried to put a bobbin in there, but this is too big for there. I don't know what that's for. Really don't know. If you do, please let me know. So anyway, this is from here. And then at the back here, we have another one. You take that out. That has all the extra parts that this came with. Here's the zipper foot. This is really great. I already tried to make a buttonhole. I actually did make a buttonhole already. And um, wait a minute, I have to check where it is. It's in here, I think, yeah. In here, you put your button here and you make it the right size for the button. And then you just put this on and it will sew the buttonhole for the size of the button that's in here. So that's really great. It's a one-step buttonhole. And it works really nice. I already tried it, like I said. Here's the bag of stuff that it came with. I don't think there's anything really special in here. Uh, oops, okay, it was open. So let's do this. Came with some bobbins, some, you know, stuff that you use for maintaining your machine, and some feet. This is some kind of a tool. This is uh, meant for putting onto the thread holder and this and let me see there are the needles but I have a lot of needles now because I got two packs of needles as extras when I bought this machine there's another foot in there 
Oh, and this one was something that I really love. Um, it's like this, you know, brush that when you take this thing off of there, you can just brush it. But watch what happens when I push this away. It has a seam ripper. <laughs> I love that because I don't have a seam ripper. So I love this. So it just goes in there. So it goes in there like that. So that was a really nice surprise. Um, yeah, so that's the stuff it came with. And then it also has this... Um, this is a hard case and I really like the idea of it being hard because it really kind of, um, you know, protects it well. So, oh, and it, of course it has a handle here that you can carry from. I think this is um, really it for the tour, but I'll just finish off by sewing, sewing, not sewing, <laughs> showing you um, a few stitches that I made. I just tried it out. Really love this uh, heart stitch. This is really great. This is great for um, winter, Christmas. Just love that. Here's a buttonhole. And then here are some of the decorative stitches. Okay, let me pull that up a little bit. Here are some of the decorative stitches that I tried out. I actually like them all. I like this one. This is a very short while, but this uh, little swirly stitch, it is, um, let me see here. It is this one here. I really love that one. So it came out really good. I already um, did one of my um, shirts. I kind of like um, decorated it because it was a little boring. So I used the stitch. Oh, some more hearts. And then there are some more. Um, these are actually um, snowflakes. There's only a half a snowflake because I stopped there. But um, I love the idea of having a slow snowflakes. But I think that these actually look... I don't think they look so much like snowflakes that you couldn't use them for general decoration. So, yeah. But I really, really like this machine and so far that I've been using it, it's been really great and it just sews so beautifully. So definitely recommending it um, based on what I have used it so far. And this should, this really um, fulfills all my needs for quilting and whatever sewing I'm doing. So if you have this machine, let me know what you think about it. And if you're thinking about getting this machine, then you can ask me a question if you want to. I must warn you though that I don't know this fully yet because I've only had this for a couple of weeks and I haven't done any big projects with it yet because my school just started and I'm so busy at work. Although right now I'm in a flu, <laughs> but then I, I'm so tired that I don't really have the time to concentrate on sewing. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this little tour. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.